Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Nurfazli bin Bakudin And my number metric is 23DIB19F2016 Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Hakimi bin Hamza I'm from DIB 5B metric number is 23DIB19F2020 Okay, now is a uh, introduction Risk management in bank has changed significantly over the past 10 year rule arose from the global financial crisis and the fine imposed as a result have triggered wave of change in risk function. This includes more detailed and demanding capital, leverage, liquidity and funding requirement, as well as higher standard for risk reporting. Non-financial risk management is becoming more important because standard for compliance and conduct are tightening. Okay, now it's uh, about objective of the journal. First is uh, improving and innovating risk management. Okay, risk function in bank will likely need to be fundamentally different than they are today. As hard as it may be to believe, the next 10 years in risk management may be subject to more transformation than the last decade. Second is about improving new technologies. Customer expectation for banking service will increase and change when new technology and business model are emerging and evolving. The risk function also need to be addressed with the evolution of newer type of risk. For example, model, contention, and cyber are require new skill and tools. Involving technology and advanced analysis allow risk manager make better choice about risk. And the last is about renew the innovative portfolio. If bank when their risk function to thrive during this fundamental transformation period, they need to rebuild them in the next decade. To be successful, they need to start now a portfolio of innovative that balance a strong short-term business case by enabling the long-term achievement of the target vision. Digitalization of core process There are many banks that have digitized many core processes that affect the risk function for example customer acceptance now your customer and credit processing in just one example digital digitalization of bank credit processes reduce end to end processing time for opening digital current account more than 90% and reduce overall cost by more than 60% it also significantly reduce the risk of financial crime Enhance risk reporting. Such improved report would enable bank to make decision faster, based on more transparent and consistent data, and improve the quality of fact-based decision. In addition, real-time risk reporting would help bank identify potential risks even sooner, allowing a more timely response. Balance sheet optimization. They use a structure process that aligns balance sheet data if necessary. It uses the most important balance sheet for international group and then agree on economic scenario. Strategy assumption, for example, how many banks will be willing to increase or shrink loan portfolio and control assumption. Putting the enablers in place. Several enablers also need to be in place to make the vision a reality. This could include the build up of supporting IT data infrastructure, the necessary talent pool and risk culture. Bank could put some of these enablers in place through several measures. Shift the focus of the risk, create a data infrastructure, and increase risk culture. So for conclusion is, bank risk management may look dramatically different by 2025 when it has become a core part of the bank's strategic planning. Its ability to manage a variety of risks, the current type is ready for the new rules and comply with the expected current rules, making it more valuable for financial institutions and its role in creating satisfying customers experience will most likely make it a major contributor to bank profit 
the risk function is also expected to increasingly be a differential for factor among banks had to determine which one are successful so that's all from us uh, thank you